Uh, hello, are you here to debate? Yeah, hello, what's up? <clears throat> Chillin', what's your name, age, and pronouns, please? Um, my name is Adam, I'm 21, uh, I'm he, him. Okay, what are you here to debate about? Um, you're, uh, uh, uh pro-life, yeah, or pro-choice, yeah. Correct. Uh, I'm, I'm pro-life, then. Okay. Why? Do you mind if I, like, hear your, your reason as to why you're, like, a pro-choice? Sure. I believe that anybody can remove a fetus from their, uh, womb if they are pregnant because they hold no obligation to this fetus. Okay. So... Like, in other words, you, you extend no moral consideration to a fetus? Uh, not prior to 24 weeks, no. Can you tell me why at 24 weeks you... you so, for, uh, just to be clear, like, your your position is after 24 weeks, you don't, you don't think you should be allowed to have, like, a, a procedure that kills the fetus, yeah? You can still have, like, technically an abortion, but not one that kills the fetus. Correct. After 24 weeks, you can do a hysterotomy abortion or an induction abortion. Uh, prior to 24 weeks, you can do whatever type of abortion you want. Um, okay, cool. So why is it at 24 weeks you then start extending um, moral consideration? Uh, at 24 weeks, the fetus has the capacity for sentience. And once you have the capacity for sentience, I grant you moral consideration until that capacity is permanently gone. Um, okay, I'm going to ask you like a, a string of questions. I don't mean to be pedantic, but my argument kind of rests on uh, consciousness as well. So I want to really get into like the details if you don't mind. Oogie. Um, so what do, what do you mean by the capacity for sentience? The parts necessary to run sentience in our brains have developed at that point. They might not be fully deployed, but the parts are there and ready to go. So they might ne not necessarily have a sentient experience just because they have the parts to have a sentient experience. You extend more consideration? Yes, because they have the capacity, yes. I value the capacity for it. So why would you follow the capacity rather than the actual sentient experience? Because there are often times where humans are sentient, but their capacity to deploy that, or but the ability to deploy that sentience is paused, but they still have the capacity for it. So for instance, somebody in a coma would still have uh, <clears throat> the ability to be sentient. They still have the capacity. It's just not currently deployed. Somebody under anesthesia well, has well, the yeah, capacity. Someone in a coma, oh, I wasn't done. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. So somebody who's, who goes under anesthesia, they still have the capacity mm -hmm. to deploy that sentience. It's just not currently deployed. So because I hold this uh, consistency in other regards of human life, I'm going to hold it in the same consistency with fetuses. It's about the capacity. Okay, I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to push back a little bit because usually when someone's in a coma or uh, they go under anesthesia, right, you are pausing an already enacted sentient experience, right? There have already been physiological changes in their brain that – allows them to have a sentient experience. They they like the so called like metacognition, there are physiological markers for that at the time that someone would have like a coma or use anesthesia, right? It's not like uh as soon as you go into anesthesia, all that work is like gone, right? It's like a developmental process. When you're at twenty four weeks, the only thing that happens at twenty four weeks is you have the thalamocortical connections, right? Which means that true. your thalamus is now connected to your frontal cortex. That's not but true. There's at other... 24 weeks... Wait, that's not true. Sorry? Go ahead. That's not true. There's yeah, other things ahead. that happen at 24 weeks. You said what? There are other things that happen in 24 weeks that I view are necessary like conditions for sentience. So one is yeah, the maturation yeah, of the neurons. Neurons go through eight stages of maturation during fetal development. They reach the eighth stage at around sure. 24 weeks. Second would be the amount of neurons. So your, the amount of neurons that your, your brain possesses reaches the, the amount that we would, we would view necessary for sentience again around the 24 weeks mark. And the third would be the complexity of those neurons, how complex they are in terms of, of their uh, neural pathing and stuff also around 24 weeks. Okay, everything you just said uh, doesn't really matter, right? If someone it does. Those are my those are my dead, necessary conditions for sentience. Really quick. First of all, I mean, I have a really, really, uh, I, I have like a disdain for people that argue sentience. I don't care from, like, if you a have a disdain for point it, of view. But okay. No, 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 I'm explaining why. I'm explaining why. From a neurological point of view, because within the field of neuroscience, people are not even sure that consciousness and sentience is a... Uh, material phenomenon it could just be an aspect of the universe right so your capacity based off of like 
a physiological marker is built off of several assumptions that aren't scientifically founded, right? First of all. Second of all, you this, this idea of like neuron complexity and the amount of neurons, that's true of someone that is freshly dead as well, right? That's not the capacity of sentience that we care about. Just because they have, like, that's not where the sentience is held in the complexity of the neurons, right? If we assume that it's a um, material phenomenon, it would probably be because of the activity in your frontal cortex. Do you agree with that or no? Uh, I would say it's much more complex than that. It's not just like one piece of your brain. It's multiple well, the, sections the, the of your brain cortex, working together. Your cerebrum is not one piece of your brain, right? Yep, I would the say it's multiple. I would, I'm going to hold. Right? I'm going to hold firm to what I said in the things that I listed that are my ne- that are part of my necessary condition for sentience. Right? We have seen via brain scans that without these things that I have mentioned, you do not have the capacity for sentience. Okay, well, it doesn't exist. Okay, if we're talking about sentience. You also have to have organized brain waves, right? That doesn't happen until 32 weeks. So why would you assume sentience at 24 weeks? If there's never been a recorded case of someone with organized brainwaves, they have little spurts of electricity within their frontal cortex, but we know for a fact that if consciousness is material, you need organized brainwaves, right? There isn't organized brainwaves at 24 weeks, so why would that be your line? It's kind of arbitrary. Uh, Yeah, I show that organized brainwaves can exist as early as six weeks. Organized, okay, can you send a link of that then? Sure. Let me see where this is being sourced from. Also, that's like almost for sure not true, but go ahead. And if it is true, it's like untrue in 99% of cases, but go ahead. Here we go. At about the midpoint of pregnancy from about 15 to 20 weeks after conception, the number of brain cells in the cerebral cortex increase rapidly. By the seventh month, the fetus is emitting its own brain waves, which can be detected through the mother's abdomen. So by 15 to 20 so weeks, seven, it's, it's by 15 to 20 weeks. Seven months is not 15 to 20 weeks. Seven months is 28 weeks, right? That's four weeks after your line, right? Cool. But our brain uh, brain waves aren't part of my necessary conditions. They're yours. Okay. So you, just to be clear, you're necess- well, first of all, your necessary conditions are unfounded. You just say the number of neurons. Are. That's not a metric for consciousness. Or I didn't say, I didn't say, the, I didn't say the number of neurons. I said the mat, the amount of neurons can, when we compare it to uh, like, a sentient 20 year old or a sentient 25 the amount of neurons and the number of neurons are synonyms yeah no the way no okay so again you're just saying oh so it has to reach a certain amount no i'm saying it has to reach a certain amount that is incongruent with what we see of people that we would both deem sentient okay i don't like i don't understand like like a a fetus at some point can have 10 toes and a human has 10 toes that doesn't mean that doesn't, that doesn't mark anything necessarily when it comes to sentience, right? I don't know what the relevance the number, of that I, is. Toes, don't, is that toes, don't make your brain, toes, toes don't make your brain run, but neurons in the brain do. Okay, but if your brain is not running, that means you don't have a sentience experience. Like, I, I don't understand. It's like, it's like having a car yes, with no gas. Correct. Saying, if your brain is not running, sure if your brain is not uh-huh. running, then you wouldn't be sentient. No, your brain is not running in an organized fashion at 24 weeks. That's not true. What do you mean when you say organized fashion? I mean that generally we own, our earliest sign of sentience is when there's a rhythmic controlled activity within the cerebrum of your brain, right? Now when you have these thalamocortical neurons, right, that run from your thalamus to your cortex, because at that point you only have like spurts of energy and spurts of electricity within your brain. If you record that in a sentient 20 year old human they're probably either brain dead or they're not using their brain it's like there's like damage to their brain if you just have spurts of electricity randomly in your brain the only time you've ever recorded the only correlation between sentience and brain activity is when you have an organized brain activity right that's the only time you've ever recorded sentience so you're saying oh that's not a necessary condition right the only necessary condition we have is they have to have the number and complexity within a, within a sentient 20 year old so why do you stop there I didn't just and not say go number on and complexity say, by the way Huh? I didn't just say number and complexity, by the way. All, all the stipulations you've had. My, my point is that you're leaving out this really big one, right? One, like, semi-metric, even though it's really hard to measure, one semi-metric for consciousness is the actual brain activity, and that does not fall in line with your stipulation of 24 weeks, or your position of 24 weeks. 
Yeah, I'm showing that we can show right? brain activity. Yeah, we can show brain activity by week eight. So this would be to con- this. No, would, no, no, if, no. Brain activity is not organized brain activity. I, I don't. I don't like need organized. But you need. Activity. You need organized brain activity. That's not one of my no, necessary no, no. Neuro- conditions. Neuroscientists need organized brain activity. To no, you need show. organized brain That's activity. That's the correlation. That's the correlation. To okay, so provide a source for this. Provide a source for this. Huh? Provide a source for this. I need a. You're gonna. Press yes, source yes, I'm gonna add, yes, yes. If you're gonna make the claim that neuroscientists want, want neuroscientists will only count you as sentient with organized brain activity, provide a source for that. Okay, I think you're I just making a sec? claim. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Sorry, I'm I'm, I'm looking at my file. Give me like uh, 60 seconds. Sure. While I'm looking for this, can I ask you a quick question? Uh, you can sure try. I can try. Okay. So just just to be clear, if if this paper does assert what I'm saying, right, and we are for sure, like, of the opinion that consciousness happens after 24 weeks, you'd amend your position. I'm not or talking no? about consciousness. I'm talking about sentience. Can you explain the fundamental difference between those two things? Yeah, sentience would just be the ability to experience. Consciousness would be the ability to, like, recognize oneself. Interesting. That's why I don't think you need complex brain waves to, ex- to experience the world. Well, you know, you just need, you need them to be organized in any way possible, right? Like, the only reason that the... Like yeah, again, I think you're using buzzwords here. Weeks. I think you're using buzzwords huh? here. I think you're using buzzwords. When you say organizing, organized in any way, like what does that mean? That doesn't mean anything. Yes, yes, it does. Because as soon as you have like your thalamus, right? This is why this is actually why 24 weeks is like really important, right? Because your thalamus is officially connected to your frontal cortex, right? The sensational relay station of your brain, which is the thalamus, which collects. Uh, mechanical signals from the outside world and translates them to electrical signals in your brain. That's the thalamus, right? Uh, I've, I, I, already, I, I already agreed. Your... I already agreed huh? with the, I already agreed about the hypothalamal connection. I said that that was, when you said, brought that up, I said that was one of my necessary conditions and then laid out my, laid out my, whatever. Well, I laid out my other relevant conditions, right? The thalamocortical connection between your sense organs and your brain is one of my necessary conditions. Say it again, sorry. The thalamocortical connection between your sense organs and your brain is one of my necessary conditions. Yeah, I know, but I'm I'm just saying it's not sufficient because even though so just confirming just confirming if a baby is born at 28 weeks, you don't believe that baby to be able to experience. What do you mean to experience? What do you mean by that? I need to define experience. Yes, you need to define experience because if you're talking about. A fucking plant, right? That, that has experience and will react to the direction of light and move. No, reacting I'm not to call stimuli that is not experience. Ex- reacting to stimuli is not experiencing anything. It's just reacting to stimuli. Experiencing would be to like actually. Are you physical. talking about like qualia, yeah? Like actual qualia, like the the subjective experience. Yep, that's why I said like not sentience was interpreting the color red. The actual that's, redness. That's why I said red, subjective. Can... I when I said when you said what is sentience, I said subjective experience. Yeah. Okay, so hold on. So you you think that there's evidence to show that at 28 weeks, humans have a subjective conscious experience with like not conscious and understanding of these things. I don't think you have to understand something to experience something. I'm having an okay, sure. Do you, do you have like is this sure you don't have to understand it, but the, you're making that assertion, right? That at 28 weeks, you're you're having you're fully having a subjective. Yeah, I'd, like I'd say, I'd say, quality, I'd say yeah. you don't have to understand it. I just said this. 
You do not have to understand an experience to be. What do you think I mean when I say understand? What do you mean? Do you think I'm, I'm saying this baby's going to write a thesis for me? No, obviously then not. Tell, then what do you mean when you say understand? I'm saying that it's not just a physical, mechanical reaction to stimuli, right? There's an actual subjective understanding of qualia. Qualia. You, like, like I asked you to explain what understand mean, and thing. you used the word understand. I don't know what you mean by understand, huh? and if you use the word understand in the definition of in the uh, explanation of why you're, of like the word, I'm not gonna still don't understand what you mean. What do you mean when you say understand? You just do said you know it again. Qual- do you know what qualia is? Yes, do I know what qualia, qualia is? is. Yes. Okay. What, what would you say for like how would how would you interpret? How would you understand? How would you, you like what 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 word do you want me to use there when I'm talking about the experience of qualia? You can use qualia just fine, but then when you throw understanding there, it's throwing a monkey wrench in your thing because you don't have to understand qualia. Qualia just happens. Okay. So again, so where, where you, are we at right now? Again, where, where, I just want to confirm. Right you think that if a fetus, if a baby is born premature, so let's say we have a baby born at 24 weeks, this is not a sentient baby. Mm-hmm. No, I don't think it's a sentient being. No, you don't think that there's, this, there's this proof, fetus at twenty four weeks. If you want, you want to say they have the structures that in the future will allow them to have sentience. Sure, do they currently have a sentient? Ex- no, they don't. No. So this fetus at twenty four weeks no. cannot experience anything. No, no, they don't. No, no, fetuses at twenty four weeks do not you, experience you, they, pain. Like, I don't understand. They don't, they don't like, experience pain. Yes or no? Sorry, do fetuses, again, sorry, do fetuses at twenty-four weeks experience pain? Experience pain? Yep. I like okay. When you say experience pain, are you saying that they're somewhat the sensory like system within their skin is reacting to stimuli, or are you saying that they have a subjective understanding of pain? Again, you keep using that subjective word understanding. Subjective experience of pain. Subjective yeah, experience I would say they have a certain, yeah, I would say that, I would say fetuses at 24 weeks have a, have a subjective experience of that pain. Okay, why? What, 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 what is allowing them to have a subjective experience of pain at 24 weeks? The pain receptors, the nociceptors under the skin are connected to the brain? No, no, no. So no, when, the, sorry, when the receptors <laughs> fire, no, 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 their no, brain no, no, registers pain? Right, hold on, hold on, hold on, what? hold on. Right? At 24 weeks, right? Your pain receptors or your nocturnal receptors or your somatosensory sensory system, right? Is not connected to your brain. Because the thalamus cortical connections have, are not like fully developed until the 28 to 30 week, week mark. I disagree. How are you saying that there's like a subjective experience when the thalamus is even connected to the brain? I disagree. What do you mean you disagree? What do you mean? I mean, I disagree. I believe fetuses can feel pain at 24 weeks. Okay, feeling pain is not having a subjective experience of that. Like feeling pain, right? If, okay, if, if the neuron, if the. If what? the yes, it would be because you're feeling. That would be an experience. Hold on, hold on. Feeling is an experience. So, yes, feeling pain okay, would I'm be sorry. an experience. So, I'm sorry. If the stimulus, right, it hits the baby's like finger, goes to their spinal cord, and comes back, right? That's like a type of loop within our nervous system, right? It doesn't actually go to the brain sometimes. Is that, to you, does that mean it's a sensitive experience? Yes or no? I, I don't care one way or another. I, I have multiple studies to show that fetal pain, fetuses experience pain at 24 weeks. Multiple of them. Okay. I have, like, the, wait, wait, I have okay. the Royal College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists Fetal Awareness Review of Research and Recommendations for Practice, which shows that fetal pain is impossible before the 24-week period, but after the 24-week period te- it's possible. Can you text me that? I have, me that so I I have I... human brain. Hold on, I'm going to read all of them first. Human brain mechanisms of pain re- uh, perception and regulation okay, in health gallop. and disease. Cool. It's not a gish gallop. I'm providing sources. That's not a gish gallop. No, you're not provide. I can't look any of these. These are up. sources. Are to me? You're just, these are sources. You're just, like, it's not a gish gallop. Up articles that I can't read and I can't refute. Yeah. Do you understand what a gish gallop actually is? Do you understand what a gish gallop actually is? Yeah. Yeah. What's I a gish do. gallop? Are we are we debating what a gish gallop is? Are we dating. We are now because you use the term. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's when you stack up points right in a fast manner, so I cannot respond to any of them. Yeah, good thing right? I'm not and doing that. I'm just providing you sources for one point. I have said one point, and all I'm doing is you, providing how are you sources providing for, okay, for that me, one. Do you, can you, do you have a pen? Do you have a paper? Do you have a phone that you can type into? You can't, I'll, you read, can't them, text I'll text read them super text slowly. Text I'll read them super slowly. Ready? Okay, I'm going to read them so super slowly. The first one. Fetal awareness. I've already, 
review uh -huh. of research and recommendations for practice. By the way, still haven't gotten your source that you said you were going to get five minutes ago. Well, I, but sure. I have it. I'm just waiting for you to stop talking. Oh, I okay, great. No, then, I, then give, give me your source, please. Okay. Evidence of emerging pain consciousness during prenatal development, a, na a narrative review. It's a PDF. You can download the PDF. You have that? You want me to text it to you? I don't know. If oh, I've got Google it because I can type. Know. Okay, cool. We can conclude that for a neuro anatomical point of view it is rather unlikely that the infant can be seen as a conscious human before 24 weeks so yeah. what i've been saying is that after 24 so, weeks well, i'm sorry I'm that sorry. after you 24 weeks lines of the paper and i'm on the conclusion that you're, that you're... i'm on the conclusion yeah i'm gonna read the conclusion of what their research found which was pre-24 weeks that they can conclude that the infant can't be okay, seen but as within a... <laughs> this paper they argue that they what are you laughing Bro, your for own, you because the, your own conclusion paper. disagrees with you the own conclusion of okay, your explain, explain research it, disagrees how, with you. Explain how it disagrees with me. Go ahead. Because they don't say that they, it can't be seen as conscious pre-28 weeks. paper, it says that the thalamocortical tract are developed 28 to 30 uh -huh. weeks. But you didn't uh -huh. read that part. You read two they lines. They don't say, you you again, that's, again, that's what the conclusion me, yeah? that they came to. Do you know how a conclusion works? A conclusion is them saying, based on the research we've done, this is what we conclude. They don't conclude that fetuses can't be seen as conscious before 28 weeks. They conclude that fetuses can't be seen conscious pre-24 weeks. If it was 28, yeah, if their conclusion was that 28 weeks is the marker, they would have said 28 weeks when they concluded wait, wait, whether or not a fetus can be... Saying, right, wait, hold on, hold on. Based on this conclusion, are you saying that they affirm that you are conscious after 24 weeks? I'm saying they've said that you can't be conscious no, no, before no, no. 24 that weeks that's and that you point. can be after. You. Is that, is that, is yes, that the conclusion? Yes, it does. Yes, or no? yes. Yep. 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 Okay. Yes, 100%. 100%. Okay, cool. That's why they say awesome. that it is unlikely that an infant can be seen as a conscious human before 24 weeks. That phrase would mean that after 24 weeks, it is likely that they can be seen as a conscious human. No. That's how between, that sentence works. Between 28 and 30, it's literally in this paper, if you want to read the paper, you can go ahead and read the paper. But in this paper, it said the likelihood of them, oh, where's the line? It's talking about the 28 to 30 week that I'm talking about, right? You want me to copy paste a specific line to you? Oh, you don't have to because they concluded based on that research okay, okay, you okay. gave so you're that not 24 weeks, that the 24 you're weeks, not, you're not they've, the concluded, That's That's okay. they've concluded that at around 24 weeks, that's when it would be. Okay. If, you, if you're not interested in the actual substance of the paper, anatomical development of thalamocortical connectivity and neuro, uh, neuronal differentiation of cortex during gestation. At 18 to 22 weeks of gestation, cortex is organized in marginal zone, cortical plate, subplate mm -hmm. zone, divided in upper and lower portions, immediate zone, and subvertical. Or sorry, subventricle and ventricle zones. Yeah. Thalamocortical differences yep. at this age reach SP zone and stay here until 24 weeks of gestation. SP is considered, in fact, a waiting com compartment in which different transiently accumulate waiting cortex differenti uh, differentiation. At 24 to 28 weeks of gestation, thal thalamic afferents reach CP also in both visual and auditory uh, cortex cortices and make synapses with neurons of, C of oh, CP, which are point. to be Eight differentiated. Weeks, okay. 24 to 28 weeks. Wow, that's interesting. What's what's? Uh, I'm sorry. What was that number again? 20 what to 28? Oh, that's crazy. What was that number that they said? 20 what to 28? What do you mean? What do you mean? If what was that number that they said? After 24 weeks, how can 20, you say that? At 24 to 28 no, weeks. No, 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 no. If you form the, so at 24 weeks, it's formed the tracks. Is that what the paper says? Why are you acting at stupid right now? 24 to 28 weeks of gestation. 24 weeks. 24 to 28 weeks of gestation. What I just read. <laughs> okay, 24 to 20. So does it make sense to have your line at the lower limit? Yes, when the it does not make formed? sense to put your line when at the, the lower are level. Not formed, when yes, this is not it formed, does make sense, sense to, to put your num to put your number at the lower level because that means some of them are developed. Some people, some fetuses develop at 24. Some take upwards to 28. That's what that means when it says 24 to 28. Yeah, no, so it does no, make sense. It, it, yes, okay, that is. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Can, so you're <laughs> saying I, this paper says that 24 weeks, you have the track. No, it's saying between this time, this is when you're forming the track. Between, between 24, 24 to 28. 28 no, it's track. not. Wait, no, no, no. It's not saying this. Do you know how I know? Do you know how I know? Yeah, go because ahead. they confirm in their conclusion that 24 weeks and up is when, when you can assume that a fetus is 
uh, in their words, conscious. No. 24 and up in their confusion. That's not, conclusion. That's not, you just don't know how to read studies. Said. Yes, it is. For sure, before yes, 24 it is. weeks, it's not. Exactly, for which sure, means after 24, 24 weeks, weeks it can be. Please, no, it, what? what? Did it say that? Wait, wait, what, what that's, says I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What does it mean if I say, if I say for sure, for sure there's not lemonade in this cup? That would mean that there is anything but lemonade in this cup. It's the opposite of what I said. So when they say for sure prior to 24 weeks, definitely not. That means after 24 weeks, it can be. Like literally, that's not how like basic, basic, basic logic it, works. It if really is. For it sure, really is. X isn't Y, right? I can't say that. That means X that can be X anything but Y. y. That means X is anything but Y. That means X is anything but Y. Okay. So when they say, what do you mean? Well, <laughs> oh my Dr- God, no, no, no. Bro. It's a boundary question. <laughs> No, it's not. They're not saying it develops by the 28th week. They're saying it develops between the 24th and 28th, which means there are going to be some that develop early and some that don't. So I'm going to take the conservative approach and err on the side of caution and say 24 weeks. But if you have such a butt hurt stick up your butt about it, then all I would say is we do a fetal brain scan prior to someone getting an abortion. And if those brain waves that they're recognizing between 24 and 28 weeks are there, then you don't have a lethal abortion. If they're not there, do whatever you want. Super simple. Okay. I, I mean, I mean, your conclu- the conclusion is literally talking about thalamocortical tracts, and you're extrapolating all the way out to consciousness. Nope. I'm extrapolating what the conclusion of the study says. You're extrapolating from two lines you, of a paper you have not read. A I, paper you have I, not I, read. I just went over it, and again, the conclusions are there so that you don't have to you read the whole paper. just went over the entire paper. That's the point of what the conclusions... Lines. That's the point of what a conclusion is. It's there so you don't have to read the whole paper. It's telling you what they've concluded. Oh, that, that makes sense, actually, coming from your perspective. You don't yeah, have to read I, the you paper. Don't know, read you don't know how papers conclusion. work. That's the point of a conclusion uh, of a paper. Yeah, no, 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 no. To You're, tell you what like, they conclude like, based oh, on the data they did. Academic, it's crazy. It's really not. You just don't know how to read. It's fine. I don't know how to I, read. If I didn't yeah, know how to read, I would be responding the same way. You never read the paper. Just read the conclusion and you're fine. No, That's did you I? Your... Uh, uh, you can straw man all you want. I didn't say you should never read the paper. I said what the purpose of a conclusion in a paper is, is so that you can see what they conclude based on all the data that they collected. That's the purpose, which means you don't necessarily have to read the whole thing, right? Because the conclusion is going to tell you, hey, guys, we took all this data and this is what we concluded based on this data. And what they concluded is that from a neuroanatomical point of view, it's unlikely that an infant can be seen as a conscious human before 24 weeks, which means after 24 weeks, you can be seen as a conscious human in some regards. It is likely that after 24 weeks, if the number was 28, for, for, they would have they said say, 28. You don't know what you're reading. Before 24 weeks, it's unlikely. That means after 24 weeks, it is likely. That's, that's your assertion. No shit. 100 percent. that's my okay. assertion absolutely okay, that's literally not how any scientific paper works but it's fine like every paper in neuroscience it's like generally the the, the the rule of thumb is you cut out the extremely like black like obviously yeah. non-arguable part and then you go on to move no, and talk about don't. the gray zones that's how that's how no, like, they don't generally a neuroscience no, paper works like no, generally how people study neuroscience no it's not you were supposed okay, to first of all let's just remind let's just no remember response, here you. let's just remember here you were supposed to provide a yeah. source that shows that all neuroscientists all they look for are these hyper specific organized brain waves that you talk about instead what you've provided is a that, source that, that talks about claim? was that my claim yes it was your claim my claim was hold on no, 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 no yes no. that 100 no, was no, your claim no, no. you want to bet I, I'll, to, give you, you I'll give you my Venmo. My I will bet you $20 then? right now. I will bet you $20 then? right now that that was your claim. I don't gamble with Haram. Do you want me to, do you want me to restate my position then? If you want to change your position now, I, I, I'm fine with that, but this source does not agree with the um, original position that you made. Which was what, John? You, which you was that all that neuroscientists look for this specific organized brain wave to determine if someone is sentient. That was your original claim. No, no. You want to bet? I'm saying that you need to have organized I can play the clip. to have sentience. I can play the Do clip. Do you not agree with that? Do you not agree that you need I can organized the clip. brainwaves to have sentience? No, I don't agree that you need organized brainwaves because you haven't effectively showed what organized brainwaves are. But I can play the clip if we want me to prove you wrong. That's fine. 
because that is what's the source you were supposed to be looking up was the show. Like your so your position is your can you name your stipulations for consciousness one more time then? Sure, I believe there are multiple. And if they're still rock solid, that means I can't name another like I can't name an example where I have these stipulations and they're not consciousness, right? Yeah. So again, so again, when I talk about sentience, because I believe sentience and consciousness to be two different things. Humans aren't conscious for a couple weeks. We, we are sentient in the womb. When I list my necessary conditions for sentience, right, it is going to be a connection between your, your brain and your sense organs. It is going to be the maturity of the neurons in your brain, the complexity of the neurons in your brain, and the mass of the neurons in your brain. Those are going to be my four primary necessary conditions in order to know if somebody has the capacity for sentience. Okay. Sorry, say the last one again. Sorry. The complexity of the neurons in your brain. Can you describe what do you mean by complexity of the neurons? I described this earlier, but sure. I think it's the neurons have to meet uh, in in terms of like complexity. They have to be similar to the neurons of like what we would see in like a, an already sentient person. I can give you the exact. Uh, the exact thing if I pull like, what, up my, what, you, what my, are, you, are you talking about myelination? Are you talking about potentiation? Like, what are you talking about specifically when you talk about these neurons? Yep, I'm going to I'm gonna pull it up for you here so that we can I can actually Thank show you. it to you. So when I talk about complexity, uh, I'll give you the source that I, I use, but I'm basically going to be looking at the... Uh, uh, where is it right here? the symmetry breaking and pattern selection in the visual cortical development. So this is going to be talking about like how complex neurons are at specific phrase, uh, times in utero. This is the study that I'm looking at. Uh, and specifically, they say the ontogenetic development of the cerebral cortex of the brain is a process of astonishing complexity in every cubic millimeter of cortical tissue in the order of 10 to the 6 neurons must be wired appropriately for their respective functions. So that's what we're looking. That's what I'm looking at. And this, how, how does that tie into, I'm so, I'm so lost on how this ties into consciousness. Because this is going to be how you, your sensory inputs work. Your sensory inputs require your neurons you, to be complex in a specific way. And that would be every cubic millimeter of cortical tissue has to have 10 to the 6 uh, neurons. And they must be wired appropriately so that they, uh, the respective functions uh, such as the anal analyzation of sensory inputs, the storage of skills and memory and motor control, so that these things can work. I mean, I don't. I don't I, okay, that's cool. I, I'm just not understanding wh why you stop there. Like, it's like obviously, if you had all these things connected, like again, if you have this connected, right, and you have a dead person, they still have these complex neurons like a freshly dead person but there's a reason they don't have a sentient experience uh-huh their sentient experience has gone away yeah yeah i would say they like, don't have the capacity put, hold, put on, hold on stop, 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 stop. A, this is why under, hold on hold on stop brain. stop i would not say they have the capacity to deploy this at that point they might have the parts necessary but they don't have the capacity to deploy it okay hold on hold on hold on hold on Explain the difference between those two things, then. The capacity to deploy it, right? And the structures that you need. Because before, it sounded like you were saying the structures themselves carry the capacity to, to deploy a conscious experience. Well, yeah, right? I would say one of the structures that they need is that the brain is actually firing, right? Those wires are actually... That's not a structure. Okay. Wait, wait. Right, if, you're gonna be, if you're going to be semantics about it, we're matter, just going to fucking... Manner, manner be, right? If you're, I would hold on again. You haven't explained what organized manner means, but I'm going to disagree. Right? Okay. I'm just going to say there has to be like electrical activity in the brain, like that has to reach like a specific specific amount, right? There's got to be electrical activity in the brain. Somebody who's dead doesn't have you, electrical you can't, activity you can't in their speak brain. You can't electrical activity, then. What? Somebody who's dead doesn't have electrical activity running through the brain anymore. Okay, I'm sorry. If I if I take like a like a uh. A rod, like an electrical rod, and I just pierce through their brain, right? And they have, like, just like, just through the skull, so I'm just touching the brain, and I shoot electrical activity into their brain. Are they now sentient? No. Why is that? 
because it's not their <laughs> body, the it's not their body running the electricity. Just like if I plugged them into a wall, they're not sentient, right? Sorry, say it one more time. You cut out. It's not their actual body running that electrical current. It's you. So why would they be sentient because of something you did? Is that, is that a stipulation that sentient is, is sentient is completely and intrinsically private then? What? Like you, you're adding a new stipulation every time I'm. If I'm I, if so, if somebody if somebody's heart starts beating, so I stick my hand in their chest and I start massaging their heart. Is their heart now beating? No, I'm pumping their heart. What do you them. think chest compressions is? What do you mean? You do chest compressions until their heart restarts on its own. Yeah, I, I, I'm so confused. Okay, well, so the restart on its own working. is a pretty I'm important sure. piece of this here. The way you're describing it, I stick something electrical and I and I and I run current to it, isn't going to restart the electrical currents in their brain and have them run on their own. It's not going to happen. Okay, you said they need the structures and they need electrical activity. I gave you something with the structures and the electrical activity. Where no, is you're the, playing. Where is the you're, you're you're quite literally trying to like pigeonhole something when you know what i'm saying here right like you know when i say like they need the electrical function of their brain i mean that their brain has to have like electrical a function sound definition of consciousness it's a very difficult thing to pinpoint not talking about consciousness well i'm not good thing i'm not speaking about consciousness right sentient consciousness okay sure either way you can't speak in nebulous terms right i need like something specific right yeah i i my here's my favorite here's I, my, I, I, the reason my, i'm doing this just to be is, clear, I take is is wait just answer this your, question just your... answer this question just answer this question is a dead person's brain producing any electricity yes or no in certain situations yeah what situations is it producing electricity what do you mean if a dead person is freshly dead right you could have electrolytes moving in and out of cells within aqueous solutions right it takes a second for these things to stop Great. Right. After that second that it stops, stop. after that second that it stops, are they producing electricity? That second? It's, it's, it's Once not, it's it not, stops, it's not, it are they producing electricity stop. now? Yes or no? You say after they've decomposed, no, they've not. No. It, it, you know it does not take as long to decompose. You know that's not the fact. Now you're just being pedant now you're being pedantic and no, disingenuous. I'm not. No, yes, I'm you not. are. Decomposition starts within like what like what a few hours? What do you mean? How, what do you mean? It doesn't take as long as it needs to decompose. When does decomposition start then? What do you mean? When you say when people say decompose, you under you understand that the implication the implication is going to be that you're that you're reaching full decomposition. You know it and I know it. You know what the implication of the word is. Okay, you say and when are. people say consciousness in common parlance, they're talking about someone that's awake, right? Good thing, I, not, the good thing I've never once said consciousness. On good thing I've never terms, said consciousness. Right? Good thing that's never been my fucking condition. Has been consciousness. Isn't that great? Isn't that amazing? You can keep can trying to straw man all you I'm want. Saying, no, 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 no. Fucking I'm Christ. saying that we're not talking in common parlance right now. We're talking about very specific, hard to pinpoint defined definitions, right? So I'm sorry that I'm using the actual correct definition, the actual correct understanding of the word, right? We're not we're not having a common parlance discussion. I don't know why why are you pigeonholing yeah, sure. my semantics. Here, here, here we go. Here we go. I would say somebody is conscious. Away. I would say somebody is I've you not pivoted away from shit. I've not pivoted away from shit. I've answered every question you've you've engaged with. No, you I've haven't. analyzed no, you every haven't. source you you've provided that have been nonsense. They... Yeah, uh -huh. you are. You have the capacity for sentience up until the brain stops firing electrical currents, which would be between minutes and hours of you dying. Okay, you have the capacity. Just to be clear, that, yep. that means you are sentient after you're dead. As you have the capacity. Electrical. That capacity is not deployed. But you have the capacity. And when the brain stops fully firing, you can't deploy the capacity. The capacity. How would you have the capacity? If there's under no circumstances, can you deploy a conscious experience what, after are you, you're dead? Are you? Are you? How is that are you? A, are you? Capacity? I'm sorry. Do people ever? Do people? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe. Maybe I'm the dumb yeah, one. Do people ever mm -hmm. get? Do people ever come back to life? Have are people ever dead and then brought back? Are people ever dead and then brought back? Uh huh. What do you mean by this? If someone is dead, have they ever been brought uh -huh. back to life? Have they ever been dead and then stop being dead and be alive again? You're talking about someone's like heart stop working or has in a coma anyone ever out of been situations? dead and okay, been not dead. dead? If you want, if you want to pull, if you want to ask a yes or no question, I'm gonna be pedantic then. Define dead then. Here, here, I'll be more pedantic. How about define lick my nuts? <laughs> There's no fucking way, bro.